So, ESPN picked up Jeff Horn versus this guy from the UK, Gary Corcoran, whatever his name is, domestic fighter. I think he's 17 and one with seven knockouts. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boston Clinic. Um, can't believe it. They picked up this fight, man. You know, and, um, you know, I understand that uh, he got some uh, fanfare. I guess they believe from fight main Pacquiao. And uh, they chose to pick up the fight and put it on ESPN. And Bob Arum, I believe, have an option on him. Um, still, probably options. And that's how he got the pipeline to put his fight on ESPN. It's going to be December 13th. I think it says 630. Uh, I'll leave the article, a link in the description. Uh, so you can be 100% sure. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, it's a waste of TV date. Um, but... You know, they got to stay in uh, Horn and Team Horn good graces because they want him to, you know, you know, win this fight and hand over that title to Terrence Crawford. This is what this is all about. You know, he was identified as a guy that can, uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao come to his home country, get robbed, and uh, get that belt out of Pacquiao hand because Pacquiao didn't want to fight Crawford and get the belt to Crawford so Crawford can uh, start making moves at 147 and bring some bargaining chips to the table for Thurman, Porter, you know, uh, whoever. You know, Earl Spence. Um, but, you know, I bet one thing. I bet they promote this fight better than they promoted Terrence Crawford and Julius Ndongo. And any Terrence Crawford fight that's going to follow, follow up on ESPN. You know, um, they put zero, uh, you know, stock in promoting his fight at all with Ndongo. Um, but they promoted the crap out of a Salomachenko fight who still failed to do the ratings that Terrence Crawford did with no promotion the whole week until Friday before the fight before the fight it was on Saturday. And, um, you know, this ain't a fight that I, I know anybody in the United States have zero interest in. Let me know if you in the United States, you had interest in watching Jeff Warren fight some domestic guy from the UK that we never heard of that was identified to come in there to give an easy layup match to, 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 to Jeff Warren. You know, he was supposed to be, he supposed to be easy. So we already know the outcome, you know, unless, you know, Jeff Warren, you know, took too much damage versus Manny Pacquiao. And, um, you know, who really cares about this fight? You know, who really, who want to watch this fight? You know, I don't understand if there's no boxing on. You know, that day. And I understand this is a uh, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing my math in my head because Lemieux and uh, Saunders fight on a Friday. I think this might fall on a Wednesday. Yeah, this fight might fall on a Wednesday. So people might tune in just to get their boxing fix. But I ain't going out of my way. You know, um, I do have Wednesdays off. So, you know, I, if it's on, I might take a peek at it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna flex. Um, you know, prediction video, I, I might. You know, that's a long ways away to think about it. I thought the fight was taking place in November. I guess they switched to December. So then he got to come back January, February. So they talking about March 10th is the target date for him and Terrence Crawford. Um, you know, this is a layup fight. He should get this guy up out of here. That's probably what they're thinking. He won't suffer that much damage. So he probably fight Crawford sometime in March if he gets past this one. So, you know, basically what it is. I can't believe ESPN picked this fight up, though. Um, I guess ain't nothing going on on Wednesday in December. So that's the the reason they picked the fight up. Um, you know. It's an event, um, and you know we a lot of boxing fans, you know, include myself. Sometimes I ain't gonna watch it. I ain't gonna watch it. You know, be nothing on. You know, boxing trumps a lot of other sports and trumps a lot of other TV programming on a Wednesday. Plus, you can always DVR it, and they, that goes towards the Nielsen Peter Nielsen ratings um, as well. So you know, we probably gonna tune in and watch it anyway. But um, you know, I'm gonna do some homework on this Gary, you know, Corcoran guy. See what he brings to the table. I'm pretty sure he ain't bringing nothing because I ain't heard of nothing about him before. Um, and you know, big up to ESPN for committing to boxing. You know, you're not committing to the boxing that we always want to see, but you're committing to boxing. And hopefully, you know, Bob Aaron can get some good fights on ESPN now. He has some okay fights, but we want to see the big fights, not these in house top rank fights. But it is what it is. Jeff Warren taking on this guy from the UK, picked up by ESPN. Can you believe it or not? Let me know. We out. <laughs>